Here's the results of my Master Blend versus Floraflex. To begin this experiment, I took three gallons of RO water and placed them into my AB test set of pills. The Master Blend nutrients are mixed and same with the Floraflex nutrients. Both solutions are then pH to get them as close to six as I can possibly get them. And for mixing instructions, I did use the instructions located on the bag for the Master Blend and also the instructions for the Floraflex. Starting pH was 598 for the Master Blend and 486 for the Floraflex. For the planting, I'm going to use my typical net cups, my cheesecloth and perlite. And this time for a little bit of variety, we're going to change up the seeds. We're going to go with uh, Dutch clover, peas and alfalfa. After I've got the cups all filled, I place the seeds on the top, cover them up with perlite and set the timer uh, to water three times automatically every day for a 30 minute duration. They start at 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 4 o'clock to spread out the waterings. After the seeds are all planted and the timer is set, nothing left to do here now but uh, let them grow for a month and see where we end up. like between the uh, first two on the test pails there that's the clover pail on the left has a slight disadvantage over the pail on the right with the roots and the greens you can easily see the uh, pail on the right is definitely what I would call the winner in this test next up we'll take a look at the alfalfa and on this one you can definitely see that the pail on the left has a clear advantage here before we pull them out so let's take a look at the roots Looking at the roots side by side, I think it's safe to say that the left pail is a clear winner in this plant, which is alfalfa. I guess this means the peas are going to be the tiebreaker. So let's take a look at those side by side, just looking at them in the pails. I think they're pretty even, so uh, let's pull them out and take a look at the roots. I'd say there's a slight advantage to the plants on the right. Let me know what you guys think. All right, next we'll take a look at the uh, finishing levels of EC or PPM. We'll start with the uh, pail on the left, 587 for a PPM on the left and uh, 462 for the pail on the right. So it looks like there's definitely a little bit more nutrient uptake on the left. Next we'll take a look at the pH on the left and right pails to see where they ended up with. The pail on the left looks like the pH is just a tad under six, maybe like something like a 5.8. So that's uh, a pretty good ending up pH. Definitely more acidic on the right. It looks like that pH is around a 5 or a 5.2. And finally, we'll take a look inside the pails to see how they look for cleanliness. Both pails are pretty close here. It looks like uh, left and right pails. If I had to give an advantage to one, I'd say the left side is probably a little bit cleaner here. So the pail on the right is uh, the winner in my opinion, but a very, very close race. The nutrients that were used, in the pail on the right is the uh, Floraflex nutrients. The uh, nutrients on the left were the Master Blend. Now, little disclaimer here. This video is not biased and you guys can see the results. You guys can be your uh, own judge. But these nutrients, they were sent out by Floraflex for me to test with.